welcome to my craft room again. Um, full disclosure, I opened my closet and it's a little scary, but I have a fabric addiction. So since I have said fabric addiction, I thought for our Mama Can Do It um, beginner series video, I would introduce you to a few different types of knit fabrics that we use commonly. Um, it can kind of be hard when you're beginning because you don't know uh, different types, you don't know what they're good for, you don't know what they feel like. So my first suggestion is if you have a chance to just snag a yard of a, a brush poly or a Liverpool, something you're not familiar with for a good price, uh, go ahead and snag it because the best way to learn what it's good for is to touch it and to feel it and to drape it and to use it. And sometimes you might get a fabric in, you expected one thing and it's lighter weight. I've done that before with like a French Terry, expecting it to be heavier weight and it's lighter weight. And then I change what I'm planning on doing with it. So I have like six or seven to show you. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first is my all time favorite, which is French Terry. I love French Terry. <clears throat> you can get two kinds of French Terry um, for the most part. There's poly rayon um, and then just poly. Oh, well, I guess they also have cotton span or cotton French Terry. So cotton French Terry is is like your experience with regular cotton in the ready to wear world. It's going to be stiffer. It's not going to be as drapey. Anything with rayon is going to be nice and drapey. So French Terry is if it's printed on the right side, you have the printed right side and then you have the wrong side, which is the pearl side. Um, if you knit, that'll help you understand that. It's not printed. Sometimes they do the wrong side printing and that's just going to give you a rougher texture. Um, what is French Terry good for? Pretty much everything. Just kidding, not structure things. Obviously you don't want to make, um, like if you make a circle skirt, it's going to hang more. So to kind of give you an idea, I'm going to use my trash can. If you have a dress form, it's a super good way to get an idea of what the drape or how it hangs is going to be. So if we hang it over my handy dandy trash can, and I'll pull this back, you can see if this was your body, this is how it's going to hang against your body. A lot more folds. It's going to want to hang closer to your body. So that, that is French Terry. I love to make cookies out of it. It's great for leggings. Um, it's great for tops. I wouldn't do anything fitted with it because it, its recovery is not the same as say a brushed poly. But to give you ideas as far as drape, we're going to move on from French Terry to scuba which is great. You can do leggy or not leggings. You could do pants with scuba. Pencil skirts are great in scuba. Um, scuba has kind of a slick feel to it. It makes me think of a scuba suit. I won't lie. When I first heard that word, I thought, is this like wetsuit material? Um, <clears throat> but you can see when we drape it across my handy dandy trash can, you get a lot bigger folds um, because it's going to want to tent away. If you made us a circle skirt with it, it's going to flare out from your body more, have a little more structure. It's great for um, like a fitted dress. Um, that can be super fun, something t close to the body. Um, it usually has really great stretch um, that's four-way. So four-way meaning it stretches side to side and up and down. Um, in a lot of amazing European places in Australia, they call that two-way. Well, all we're meaning is, is it stretches both directions, okay? So we have our scuba, which is good for circle skirts. Um, makes me think kind of poodle skirty. Then we will move on to Liverpool. Liverpool is like scuba's cousin. It's a thicker, I mean, you can have different weights of fabric, of course, but it's thicker. But the cool thing about Liverpool is it's not slick like scuba. And I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, this is good. You can see the texture. It has this really cool texture. You can make um, peplum tops. You can make the fit pants would be great in a Liverpool. Um, it's going to have less structure in some instances than the scuba. But we'll drape this sucker and see. <clears throat> so you can see it doesn't have as many folds as the French Terry but it still has uh, more than the French Terry. Uh, so it's gonna, it's gonna want to tent away from the body a little more than French Terry would. So Liverpool has a really cool texture. Um, it's really pretty. It's really easy to work with too. Moving right along. So speaking of French Terry, I skipped over another version of French Terry. So you have different contents of French Terry. We talked about cotton and polyester and rayon. 
rayon being the most drapey of the three. And you have um, French terry, this is a French terry, that is brushed on one side. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the fuzzies on there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it means one side has been brushed, roller brush, so it's fuzzy. Sometimes that's the right side that's been brushed, and sometimes it's the wrong side that's been brushed. But as my best friend who sews and I always say, whichever side of the fabric you like to face out is the side of the fabric that you can have face out. So this one, I believe, is the wrong side. So you can tell that um, right side to wrong side on the French Terry based on the knitting. So the V's, if you look really close, you can see V's on one side and the pearl side or the wrong side are these straight lines. So if you Google knitting um, right side, wrong side, you can find lots of pictures to kind of help you see in fabric, in those types of fabric, which side is right and which side is wrong. So uh, the last couple that I want to share are rayon spandex, which is way drapey. I mean, like, look at this stuff. It just, it um, is amazing, but if you make anything fitted, it's going to, as you can see with my cardigan, show every lump and bump. So this is not something you would make leggings out of. It'd be great for a swing dress um, or swing top. That's what my kids, my girls really like it. It's also good for like a close, lightweight cardigan. Um, I really like to do that out of it. You can see how many more folds this gets than even the French Terry. You can get different weights, and that's kind of important, I think, with rayon spandex, because the different weights um, will determine how much it wants to cling. So if you've ever seen people who are wearing a dress and you can see the outline of their bra, it's because the fabric is so drapey, it's just clinging right to that. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, um, or if you are amazing and wanna go without a bra, this is gonna show everything. Um, but it's really great for swing dresses that I make a lot of those for my daughters um, out of rayon spandex. Uh, the thing to keep in mind with rayon spandex, like anything, you rub it, it's going to get holes. So I know like for me, I get holes right here sometimes because I'm doing like dishes or anything at the counter. So that's just kind of the nature of the beast. So I try to be more aware of not rubbing my belly against the counter when I'm wearing something I really like or put on an apron. So the most popular of all, um, I think, lately, has been uh, brushed poly. Brushed polyester is a poly spandex that has been brushed. Oh, see, you know, you're smart. It can be single brushed, which means only one side is brushed, typically the outside. Or double brushed, which is what this is. You, you can't really see it in the picture, but you can feel it. So brushed poly is great. It's great for tops. It's fabulous for leggings if it has the right stretch, which it should. It's four-way stretch. I don't know that I've ever seen polyester that's the brushed poly that's not. Um, good for dresses, good for tops, good for skirts, uh, good for leggings, good for socks. Um, not good for baby things like the, car the cover. Because it is polyester, it will retain heat. It doesn't breathe because it's a man-made fiber. Um, so you want to be cautious when making something for an infant because they can overheat in it. Um, my only suggestion with brush poly is, I have done this before, ask me how I know. If you make a brush poly like swing top and brush poly leggings, the top doesn't swing because the brush catches on the brush. So something to keep in mind. But it, to go along with our stuff, has fantastic drape as well. Super flowy, super pretty. I've used brush poly for fitted shirts too if it's a little bit thicker. Um, then I'll, I'll do that. I'm in some of my favorite shirts are made out of that. And then my second all time favorite is sweater knit. I love French Terry and sweater knit. Um, I have a lot of them. Uh, sweater knit is, you know, good for sweaters, good for joggers, similar to French Terry. Um, it's content sometimes is different though than French Terry. So you can see on this really pretty boho sweater knit, how it drapes. And it's usually pretty soft. The thing to be cautious of with sweater knits is they can get rough. Um, cheaper ones, um, I found a few on Etsy before, cheaper ones sometimes uh, come and they're, they're just not as slinky. So just be prepared, you know, to change your plans if fabric shows up and it feels different than what you expected. Um, 
and experimentation is always a good thing. It's always fun to do to try new fabrics in different ways um, or color block or things like that. So those are all the ones we've gone over are French Terry, Rayon Spandex, a Scuba, Liverpool, Brushed Poly, the all-time favorite it seems right now, uh, and Sweater Knit. So go buy some fabric, touch it, feel it, go to a fabric store, touch it, feel it, hang it up. Um, those are the best ways to learn uh, what you can do with it. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments and uh, I'll try and get to them. But good luck. Happy fabric shopping. Black Friday is coming, so you might snag a few great deals. So happy fabrics.